With iconic songs like Rocket Girl, the country band Doc Walker continues to prove that they are relevant and they are here to stay. Now with the release of their eighth album titled The Eighth, here's a sample of their work. It's Chris, it's Dave, and yes, they are part of the great band that I know as and you know as Doc Walker. Again, Rock and Girl, by the way, guys. And you and I, well, all of us have chatted before. That is by far easily one of my favorites. Yeah, I Rock know. and Girl is just, man, when I'm there, it's like, shh. Yeah. Shh. <laughs> let him sing. You know, you got, you want a little interesting story behind Rocket Girl? The first time I heard that was at the North Battleford Casino. Our manager sent us a, a work tape. Of this an actual uh, cassette, an actual cassette yeah. of this country singer guy who wrote Rocket Girl, yeah. who didn't want to put it on his record. So I listened to it, and I listened to this cassette, and it's Jason McCoy <laughs> from the Road Hammers <laughs> wrote Rocket Girl, and uh, it just I think I don't think it fit on the record he was doing at the time, and yeah. and I'm like, man, we got a chance to record this amazing song. And, uh, let's do know, it before he changes his yeah, mind. Yeah, let's do it yeah, before he no changes his mind. <laughs> and yeah, I'm glad that we did, and I'm glad he wrote it, because it definitely changed our career and our lives. Wow, so, that's I mean, insane. That's why it's cool being on this tour, because we've known each other for so long, and there's a lot, so much respect between all the artists. It, it just makes for a, for a real good time. The tour is called Bands on the Run. You're hanging out with the Road Hammers. Yeah. You're hanging out with uh, Billy Jack Billy. Black Jack Billy. Black Jack yeah. Billy. I said yeah. Billy yeah. Jack. Black Jack Billy yeah. as well, too. Yeah. A uh, lot of fun. Oh, uh, so some terrible too, moments. Too much fun sometimes. <laughs> it's too much fun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we had, a, we had some terrible moments at about 5 o'clock this morning <laughs> coming through some crazy roads. Well, no bouncing kidding. around the back yeah, of the bus. Saskatoon, you kind of, we, we went straight across. Yeah. We didn't go. Yeah, we yeah, took a, a shortcut tonight and yesterday, but. Oh, my gosh. Good times. Eighth album. Yeah. Yeah. So, how do you find that much material, guys? I mean, is it just, do you just sit together all the time at a kitchen table somewhere, yeah. Dave, and just say, well, we, hey, we better start writing? We go down to Nashville, and, and for the most part, <laughs> our managers always give us hell because we, write we don't write anything. Honestly, sometimes we go down for 10 days and just talk. Yeah. We talk about the yeah. record, and, and then maybe it's the next 10 days that we go down to Nashville and we actually, we actually write. Well, and I think that's why, you know, we actually have enough material for a record because mm -hmm. we don't sit there and beat our head against the wall that we got to write this kind of song we talk about yeah. we'll sit down and listen to old records and talk about our influences and at the end of the night we've got a song there just yeah, because yeah, yeah. Of, of what influences us and uh, it's you from know, the heart man it is and a, we we know that as as uh, as fans well you can't fool you guys I mean you can't uh, we've been doing this long enough now we've got a fan base that, that we feel responsible that we want to come up with the best product that that tells a bit of a story about who right. we are and and uh, so people it, with every record get to know us a little bit more it's international ugly sweater day today yes ha. so we have to have some uh, ugly sweater stories start with you Dave. <laughs> <laughs> ugly sweater do you have one that was maybe uh, as a kid geez. do you have one no every time By the way, you're welcome to wear this if you like nice no every time I work out <laughs> I'm the ugly sweater actually, uh -oh. so. <laughs> um, I had a, it wasn't like a Christmas sweater, but I had a barrage of, of the, uh, you know, the truck stop with the big wolf on it. And yes. Uh, yes. my whole younger childhood was Looking at the moon every and picture of a wolf howling at the moon with, you know, I mean, it was just horrible. But. <laughs> You're traveling around with a group called the Road Hammers, mm -hmm. and they have said some really positive things about you guys. Oh, really? <laughs> some negative, too, let's be honest. <laughs> but mostly positive. Yeah. What would you say about those guys? Ah, oh, very consistent. <laughs> why are you no, I'm just kidding. Why are you when you <laughs> no, no, it's 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 a story we heard of, but no, very I mean they're, they are uh, they work way too much for us. It's like they're always doing making interviews us look bad. And, <laughs> yeah. and making us look bad. We're extremely lazy, so no, I mean uh, they're. Uh, they're an amazing band to watch live because there's so much energy. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know where Clayton gets it from, but uh, you know it's just, and it's it's great for the crowd with the three different acts. Oh yeah, you know I oh, mean because yeah. we're, we're we're different. We're, yeah. You know I mean there's Blackjack Billy, and then there's Doc Walker who's you know a little bit different than that, and then there's a the Road Hammers. So I think for everybody it's a great great package to come and check out. Yeah, but, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah, I mean I, honestly I, I can't say enough. Consistent. Good about about the Road Hammers <laughs> and, and Jason because like I said I. I 
I, you know, a lot of my career was was uh, listening to Jason on his solo careers and stuff. So for you me, being on the road, it's his ego that much. Well, no, honest, Chris, honestly, it, it's for me. His be, ego's already this For big. me, being on the road, it's it's <laughs> really exciting. I mean, it's 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 a lot of fun. Plans for the holidays, because you guys will be finished on Monday in Vancouver, correct? Because yep. tonight yeah. you're performing at Cowboys Dance Hall. This yeah. is going to be just yeah. brilliant. But you finish on Monday. Plans for the holidays. Back to Winnipeg. Yeah, yeah. back yeah. home. That's I've been told by my wife for the next month and a half I'm and getting geez. up every morning for everything. <laughs> yeah. So I know what I'm That's doing. Right. <laughs> Yourself, Dave. Same uh, I, I can't get up in the mornings. Yeah. That's why I stayed up last night. I haven't slept yet. But home so. for the holidays. Home for the holidays, yeah, of some course. Some shopping. It's, uh, I got some brand new skates. The, my first pair Sweet. of skates since I grew out of my last pair. So When you were six. Yes, pretty much. <laughs> so, so put the, the, the country rock style life off to the side. Get back to yeah, get to get back life. to breaking Being real life again. Stuff. Yeah. 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 Uh, tonight, it's the big night for these guys. Uh, Blackjack Billy, the Road Hammers. Doc Walker, all performing at Cowboys Dance Hall. I don't even know if there's tickets anymore. Maybe stand outside and a, listen. There might be a couple. Okay. You never know. They always open it up at the end and throw out another, you know, 25 tickets. So, yeah. Call and get them. It's, it's an amazing <laughs> show. It's you've got to see this fiasco. It's it's great. Thanks for coming, guys. Okay. Really Thanks appreciate this. Thanks. Uh, a lot of other things happening in and around our city as well, including the Cochrane Ecological Institute hosting a Christmas tree fundraiser. It is happening this weekend. Your Christmas tree donation will go towards the care and rehabilitation of injured and orphaned wildlife. Visit www.ceinst.org. This is Trending on Shaw.